5th of November, and um, and the Geno Saida is still ongoing on the poor, defenseless people of uh, Palestine. I no longer recognize Israel as a country. And these opinions I speak for myself. Before the paid Israeli agents come here to attempt to make me look bad in front of the white man, because that's who they're trying to convince. Um, I'm going to highlight a bunch of things because now it's personal and I've gotten situation with uh, Israel. Yes, me, personally. I believe it was an attempt on my life. And this might sound shocking. I even had a comment on my Instagram. Someone said, are you sane? Come down cuckoo. Now I'm cuckoo. Okay. I'm crazy. Here's what the Western world don't know about Israel. Now... To you, it seems that Arabs don't like Jews for some holy reason. This narrative was carefully crafted by the Zionist filth. This waste of oxygen that we call a Zionist has carefully crafted the narrative that Arabs don't like them and that they ethnically cleanse them and push them out. But today, I'm going to educate the Western man, and all men, including Israelis, who, ha there's good people, they exist. And I advise the good Israelis to get out of Israel, because it's going to be hard, so. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure out that after they did a genocide, that there won't be repercussions. If they don't come in the form of official countries taking action, they're going to come in the form of terror. You'd be stupid to think that this is just going to go away, swept under the rug. Matter of fact, I got a message to all the world leaders. Sleepy Joe, wake up and listen to me. Justin Trudeau, you disrespectful asshole. Come here, bitch. Justin Trudeau, I got a bone to pick with you because I used to support you. Bill C-11 came right after I turned into a YouTuber. And it's not at the... Uh, see, people going to doubt my sanity again. But me and you both know we got the same cameraman. Okay, when you come to a cameraman and hire him for a service, you're definitely going to want to look at his recent work. And I'm his recent and best work, if I'm being honest, that is a person. Because that boy, he only shoots cars and buildings and trailers. Me and you are the only people who got like music video style shot by dude. So stop it. Don't act like you don't know me. I know you know me. As soon as I start speaking truth, because I've been dying to say it my whole life, you come with Bill C-11. We'll see about this. You know why I got kicked out the mosque? Yes, because you supported Israel, but that's part of it. It's because you are an insensitive motherfucker. It's because you're a dickhead. It's because we're all sitting here watching the genocide. And the best thing you can do after 33 days of... You know how many, you know how it feels? I'm scared to look at my phone. Every time, like, brother, this is November 5th. A ceasefire is something the UN not only should have asked, but should have demanded from those motherfuckers. Given that you are, you know, humanitarian, white people, mwah, mwah, lovey, lovey. The best thing you could come up with after 33 days of hell, look at my face, Justin. Look at my face, bitch. No ceasefire? He said, what, a pause? A pause? A menopause, pause, maybe. Pause from what, Justin? Pause from what, Sleepy? Actually, fuck Sleepy. Sleepy's, I think he's, he's, anyway, I think Sleepy's being blackmailed by the Mossad, the project that was Jeffrey Epstein, right? That's why everybody seems too scared to say anything. Hit me out. 
A pause from what, Justin? Justin, I don't know if you're blind or deaf or just stupid or racist. Because, listen, they hit a hospital. And the excuse was worse than a... Than a, than a, than a like, you should have just said admitted, bro, because the excuse was horrible. Okay, we were lying about... You know what happened? I have sources that I'm not going to reveal, obviously, that are that I take from Gaza myself and, and post to my Instagram. And other means I can. I posted a warning from a hospital one night. There's Red Cross and there's Red Crescent. Red Cross is obviously the, the, the Western white people Christian version. Red Crescent is the, you know, Muslim, right? Both of them are neutral parties. I don't care if you were fighting Hitler, you don't hit a, a, a Red Crescent, Red Cross, you don't hit anybody wearing a press, you don't hit people like that, you don't hit hospitals. But here come the filthy Zionists, threatening, right? But he wasn't threatening a gang member. He wasn't threatening uh, Hamas. He was threatening the hospital. A hospital which housed many people, cancer patients, all type of stuff, 12,000 people. It's not that big of a hospital. Why is there 12K? Well, I don't know, because you bombed every other place. You told them go to the shelter, you bombed it. You told them go to the hospital, you bombed it. You play, tried to play like the victim. I'm coming. So after all this shit show, November 3rd or 2nd night, I, I'm, I'm already pissed. It's been a whole day. I'm watching a, 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 a horrible gore, kids dying and shit, and... The Arabs, you know, they put the sad music. So I'm tormented, brother. I want to look away, but I don't have the luxury to look away. Then I post a threat from the hospital. I know niggas who will go like my bitch shit and skip past this threat from the hospital. The next day, the hospital got bombed. And I posted it. I was very upset because I had it like 10 minutes. 10 minutes from the moment of seeing. I told you I got sources. That ate me. A hospital. Again. Can you, were you going to say Hamas? You threatened them. As if that wasn't enough. Yesterday, which is 4th. They hit an ambulance in the morning. They hit all day, but they hit an ambulance in the morning, and then at night, like, you know, Saturday night, everybody's partying. You're probably chilling. Hey, what's the party? What are we doing? We making music. We doing what? I'm sitting here watching the people with no defense get bombed again and again and again and again. And these ugly politicians, the maximum they can do after speaking so calm is tell me that a pause. We, 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 we demand a pause. A pause from what? From bombing hospitals? So this is what you're, going to, you're asking for. That's right. All right, Gaza, we've been bombing you all week. Commercial break. Six hours. Six hours to find the remaining family that you have, if you got any left, under the, the tons of bricks and rubble. Oh, so once you found them... Because you're digging on your own. It's not like you want help, right? Oh, I found my daughter's dead body. Closer. Whoop. We return to our regular scheduled programming of bombing innocent civilians. Whoop. Bombing what? A break from what? From bombing hospitals? Now, everything aside, Trudeau, I'm talking to y'all today, to the white folks here, out here. You got the power to do something about it. Oh, yeah, I do. I have no other... You, he's blackmailing you, isn't he? He was one of them on a the plane with Jeffrey, weren't you? Hmm. Now, it's time that we call out Israel for his bullshit. 
Just because they had a Holocaust happen a thousand, hundred years, forties, I don't give a fuck when, the Holocaust is over. A lot of Holocaust survivors say that this is a Holocaust itself. Including Mator. I don't want to I'll post his name. Israel needs to stop playing the victim immediately. I'm sick of it. The reason Arabs don't like him is because Palestine is not the only victim of Israel. The whole Arab world is. Their dirty Mossad may appear to be clean and friendly in the West. Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. The Mossad killed a lot of people in, 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 in the Arab world. Civilians, politicians. Anytime we try to get a little bit of freedom, here comes the Mossad to ruin it. You know why? Because unlike the Western world, we know the truth about these motherfuckers. We're not anti-Semitic. When Kanye said that bullshit about Jewish people, go check my YouTube. The same channel. Who stood up to Kanye? Kanye went at the Jews. My problem ain't with the Jews, it's with the bitch as Zionist. They'd rather have you believe the Arabs are savage, barbaric, ooh, ooh, ooh. They just hate the Jews because they're terrorists. When you came to Palestine, the Palestinians welcomed you in, took you into their own homes because that's just the Arab hospitality. Because of what you did to them, Arab hospitality died. Now people are like, oh, what if I let you in and you do me like Israel? No. Bella Hadid, you know her? Her dad will tell you a story how he got expelled at his own home after he let the guest in. Because he felt bad for him. These aren't metaphors. This is literal. Now, if this is... This is 2023. You made it illegal to be Palestinian. And if you're not going to help... If you're not going to help, don't ruin it. Look at the stress you put. You don't understand. You embolden racist people around the world. Hate crimes going up because they feel like, fuck it. Your government's with it. They don't care about you either. If a white girl went in the woods today and didn't come back for six hours, this whole world would be upside down. But we sit here watching people go out in bulk. And the best thing you can do is 33 days later is a pause... You should have just said nothing about it. Because that's ultra disrespectful. Saeed, you're not a victim. You are not no victim. We are the victim. Not just Palestine, all of us. Your filthy terrorist acts. You know, that's why they get pissed with like, well, this didn't start October 7th. How could you say that? Shut the fuck up. Palestinians did not bomb shit. Terrorism, the Islamic version that you brand and scare people with all over, ISIS, Osama bin Laden, that started in the 80s. It started because we went to help you. Watch my last video. So America started that. Before the 80s, did you hear about Islamic terrorism? All the wars were, world wars were fought by Christians. The, 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 the Holocaust that happened was done by who? The Christian Crusades. We had the Ottoman Empire, but even that was less it. Yeah, Allah. Now, in 2023, a pilot went to school for pilot, doing his job good. But if he feel bad for his own people, Free Palestine, bap, fired. We apologize for that. What? All he said was free Palestine and post a flag of himself. Why'd you fire him? No sympathy. Not even a solidarity message to us. You got Pat, Justin Trudeau and the other nigga I used to like, Pierre, at the, at the temple with the, with the hat. Stupid hat. Yeah, stupid hat. I'm sorry, but stupid. Your culture sucks. The fuck? How about you say something for the niggas bombing hospitals while you at the synagogue or whatever? 
Jews lived peacefully throughout the Arab world for years. We, we let them integrate. We, we felt bad for them. This is the thanks we get. They know that Arabs know the truth, but they spend their time lying to the West because that's who give them a green light to, you know, have fun, kill us as much as they want, and go unpunished for it. And we sit here and watch that. How do you think that make me feel? I'm boiling. I want to punch some. Yeah, I'm boiling. I want to do something about it and stop them. Not sit up on Instagram and pray for Palestine. They've been praying for 75 years. And then you get disrespectful racist niggas in the comment on top of that. And when you look to the government, you know, the one that cares about humanity so much. Huh? This, after pressure, you know, after they made it illegal in France to say free Palestine. What the fuck? Don't let that go. But instead of messages of solidarity, you get niggas like Ryan Zinke or whatever the fuck. Ugly motherfucker. What an ugly motherfucker, too. He introduces a bill. No, not to repel the Patriot Act. No, no, no. Not about the climate change. No, no, no. Not a human rights anything. No, no, no. Nothing positive. He wants to expel all Palestinians from the U.S. that are already living here legally. Are you here legally? Are you Palestinian? Out. Hmm? So, it seems that becoming or being from Palestine is a crime. Fuck Hamas. Nigga, he lives in the U.S. He's American. You want to stop his immigration? Oh, so you want to stop his immigration to you as a refugee, right? Oh, then why the fuck did you go and bomb his entire life, nigga? And not even show him a humanitarian? Let the aid in. So what, are you, you trying to exterminate him completely, his race? This is the U.S.? When, when did you make it a crime to be Palestinian? Because I've never seen that law. Shout out to the LGBT. I'm all for everybody's rights. I'm not against that stuff. I'm not one of those. But you can have a beard on. And go and demand somebody call you a different pronoun. And even be like, um, no, how could you misgender me? I deserve to have this gender I identify. Again, I'm not against. I'm a supporter, but I'm this gender. Even though the nigga is not even feminine, I got a beard. Okay, nigga. She, she, it is what it is. My pronoun is they, X E M, Zem. What the fuck? Xylophone. That's okay. They can have any pronoun they want. X, Y, Z. That's their pronoun. I identify as an attack helicopter. Legal. But to say free Palestine, you know, not Hamas. To say God be with my people who are getting strike day and night, the world don't hear. Just a prayer. Fired. Hmm? How dare you be from Palestine? Expel them from the U.S. And ban them from immigration. Why? Israel is not a victim. If we look back behind October 7th, we'll realize why. We'll realize quickly why they're not no victim. They never were a victim. But they always had people... They had the American lobby going crazy. Lobbying. That's why you get people some but expel the Palestinians. Instead of saying this this horrible atrocities. May God be with our people here, Palestinian Americans. And I hope you know that your life matters, you're valued. It is unfortunate circumstances. You could have voters, but not expel Palestinians. How dare you be Palestinian? Huh? 
How dare you? Are you here legally? You might be the doctor, Palestinian doctor that saved my life, right? You might be the Palestinian, I don't know. You might be broke one night, forgot your wallet, Brian Zinke. And the Palestinian man in the draft who paid your thing, he said it's okay. It's about being human, stupid. What the fuck is this bill? If you have career in politics after this, 